Secret FBI memos made public today show that the late J. Edgar Hoover ordered a nationwide campaign to disrupt the activities of the new left without telling any of his superiors about it. The FBI campaign lasted from 1968 until 1971 when Mr. Hoover ended it. He ordered his agents not only to expose new left groups, but to take action against them to neutralize them. The memos were made public because the government lost a lawsuit filed by NBC News correspondent Carl Stern under the Freedom of Information Act. Here is Stern's report on the secret FBI memos. The documents prove for the first time that the FBI undertook a program in 1968 to harass and destroy new left political organizations whose views the federal police agency disagreed with. Wrote FBI Director Hoover, the purpose of the program would be to expose and disrupt the new left. We must frustrate every effort of these groups and individuals to consolidate their forces or to recruit new or youthful adherents. In every instance, consideration should be given to disrupting the organized activity of these groups. Director Hoover detailed the setup of the program, saying anarchists and revolutionists had to be neutralized if law and order and a civilized society were to survive. This document shows that in 1971, all the counterintelligence programs were abruptly ended, including those against the New Left, black extremists, the Socialist Workers' Party, communists, and a program to disrupt white hate groups. One former agent who, described, who participated in the program has described how burglaries, forged blackmail letters, and threats of violence were used to try to stop anti-war marches. Many of the techniques were clearly illegal, but justified in the interest of national security. Today, the Justice Department said no attorney general authorized or knew of the program. Ramsey Clark, who was attorney general when it started, called the program deplorable and said in his judgment, those who took part are indictable. Carl Stern, NBC News, Washington.